We have good news and we have bad news. The good news, Cam Hayward has made it to the 2023 Pro Bowl. It was officially announced about an hour ago that he is the replacement for Kansas City Chiefs defensive tackle, Chris Jones. Now, it's arguable whether or not Cam should have been on the roster anyway when they were first announced back like a month ago. The guys that made it were Chris Jones. It was Quentin Williams and also Jeffrey Simmons. I believe Cam had a case over Jeffrey Simmons, but hey, Chris Jones is going to the Super Bowl. Obviously, he won't be partaking in the Pro Bowl games, which leaves the door open for Cam. And good for him. This is the sixth Pro Bowl of his career. So if you think about it, six Pro Bowls plus the two or three all pros that Cam has, he's building up more and more of a case for Canton. So I wouldn't be surprised at this point if he eventually makes it when his career is done. But the bad news is this. Pro Bowls don't matter anymore. They're officially a joke. First, we had the Alex Highsmith debacle from last week. And I already talked about that on... I think it was two episodes ago, if you want to check that out. But I'll go over it briefly. Remember, we had this great plan. Highsmith got snubbed from the Pro Bowl when the rosters first dropped. TJ Watt got in. Well, probably not as deserving, but hey, it's TJ Watt. We're not going to complain too much. But the plan was this. TJ Watt, sit out the Pro Bowl, rest your injuries. And that way, Alex Highsmith, who was named an alternate as an edge rusher, would just take your spot and two Steelers would get in. It's a win-win for everyone, right? T.J. Watt did that, announced that he was going to sit out the Pro Bowl, rest his injuries. But instead of Highsmith getting in, it was Bill's off-ball linebacker, Matt Milano. Make that make sense. It didn't. But it gets worse. It gets worse because we had some news drop, not only yesterday, but today. We'll go over yesterday's news because the, the news that just dropped today really, like, it Signed, sealed, delivered, Pro Bowl is absolute joke. Complete comedy act. Just laugh at it every time it comes around. Pro Bowl 2024, Pro Bowl 2025. It doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't even matter. But yesterday's news, we had a tight end that had to sit out of the Pro Bowl games, Travis Kelsey, because like Chris Jones, he's going to be going to the Super Bowl. So I thought, next man up, it's Pat Fryermuth because after Kelsey and after Mark Andrews, it was clear to me that Pat Fryermuth was the next best tight end in the AFC. But no, Buffalo Bills tight end Dawson Knox gets the nod, and you could just go over their stats. Pat Fryermuth's stats, based off receptions and also receiving yards, are better than Dawson Knox. Da yeah, Knox got a couple more touchdowns, but come on, man. Come on, man. Um... Muth is the better tight end over Dawson Knox. He should get in. Now, some people are saying Muth is still dealing with the knee injury, so that's fine. That's fine. I understand that. Roger Saffold, another bill, made it after, I, I believe, was it? I don't know if it was a guard for the Chiefs or it was just another guard that has to sit out. He got in. I'm not a big PFF guy, but when you have Moats saying that Saffold kind of got the whole career nod nomination, kind of like how Pouncey and DeCastro did, in their last seasons, but what, what I mean by PFF is they gave him like a 47 grade this year, and if you have that combined with Moat saying, because I'm not watching Roger Saffold this year, but and Moat's also saying that, yeah, he didn't have his uh, best season either. It's like, damn, couldn't we have had James Daniels get in over him? I know he wasn't named an alternate, but I think he was deserving at least of consideration. So this was just yesterday in some of the Pro Bowl nonsense that took place. But then we had today. Remember when Tyler Huntley was named as the fourth alternate for the AFC QBs to go to the Pro Bowl? Like, he didn't even deserve that because I think at that point he only played in like two or three games. And he didn't play good in any of those games either. It's just like, what is going on? But we still thought it's like, there's no way he's going to end up making the Pro Bowl. You know how many alternates you got to go through to get to him? <sighs> well, today, uh, it happened. The three quarterbacks that were on the initial roster were Mahomes. Obviously, he's going to the Super Bowl. He's not going to be participating. Josh Allen and Joe Burrow. Josh Allen decided to sit out. Uh, for whatever reason, he's probably dealing with that elbow injury. So that just leaves Joe Burrow. The alternates in front of Huntley were Lamar Jackson. He's been dealing with that injury. Herbert, he just had a surgery on his shoulder. Uh, I 
believe it was between either Tua or Trevor Lawrence. Tua is obviously still in concussion protocol, so he's a no-go. Trevor Lawrence is the replacement for Patrick Mahomes. Okay, I think we all can agree that makes sense. So that leaves Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow as the Pro Bowl quarterbacks right now. But then as the replacement for Mahomes, they actually did it. They named Tyler Huntley to the Pro Bowl. Tyler Huntley is in the Pro Bowl. So not only did he not deserve to be a fourth alternate to begin with, but when you look at the stats and how he finished the season, it's, I I don't know, it leaves you speechless. Dude played in six games. He only started four. How is he even eligible from that standpoint? And then you look at the stats, he's averaging 109 yards per game as a 41.2 QBR, two touchdowns to three interceptions, and then just had one rushing touchdown. So three total touchdowns, three picks, 41.2 QBR, 100 yards passing per game, and only started in four games with a 2-2 two and two record. Huh? And I guess why this hits home is because if Huntley's getting in, why isn't our guy getting in and Kenny Pickett? He has way better of a case than Tyler Huntley, and I would say, I'd argue, that he should be next one up. But I also think you could probably look down a list of like seven or eight names in the AFC and say that they're more deserving than Tyler Huntley as well. Like, how Russell Wilson, even though he had a shitty season, at least he threw for, what, uh, 3,500 yards, had 16 touchdowns? Derek Carr, 3,500 yards, 24 touchdowns. Davis Mills, 3,000 yards, 17 touchdowns. Mac Jones, almost 3,000 yards. Jacoby Brissett had 12 touchdowns, 6 picks, 2,600 yards in, what what was it, like 11 or 12 games. Ryan Tannehill, he got hurt, but he played in more games than Tyler Huntley. 2,500 yards, 13 touchdowns, 6 picks. Like, holy hell, man. Holy hell. Like, I just, does it mean anything? Does the Pro Bowl mean anything now? Does it mean anything? I guess not. That's why I said back at the intro, like, cool, Cam Hayward made it, but what does it even mean now? Like, how do we even judge Pro Bowls going forward if if this stuff's happening? It might be time to just cancel the games because, like, we can't be going through all these alternates, man. We can't be doing this. Like, there were times where Andy Dalton made the Pro Bowl. He didn't deserve it. Tyrod Taylor made it that one time. Teddy Bridgewater made it. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now it comes down to Tyler Huntley when he's only played in four games and Didn't even really play good in any of those four games. Pro Bowl used to mean something. Not anymore. Ridiculous. Like, I didn't think. It's crazy. Because, yeah, all the guys that they talked about, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Mahomes, Herbert, Trevor Lawrence, Lamar Jackson, even Tua. I don't think Tua is good, but I'd take Kenny Pickett over him going forward. But he still had 3,500 yards, 25 touchdowns, and eight picks this last season. So I would understand any of those guys making the Pro Bowl over KP8. But now when Tyler Huntley makes it, yeah, that's that's when it's a problem. That's when it's a problem. Kenny Pickett could have a Pro Bowl. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's it for this edition of Big Deep News. Let me know what you guys think of what has taken place with the Pro Bowl uh, right now and the type of joke that it's become. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay chilling on a Tuesday. Peace.